in the heart of Silver Dollar City, a challenge has arisen. Whoa. The world's largest treehouse. I gotta do this. Good luck, kid, because there's a million amazingly fun things to get your hands on in this towering treetop village. I gotta do it all! America's largest children's festival, including the return of Nickelodeon, now only at Silver Dollar City. Can you meet the challenge? Yeah. Your Ford dealer presents the Great Percent Event on America's best-selling car, Ford Taurus. Choose from one-nine financing for up to 48 months, three-nine for 60 months, or 1,500 cash back. Hurry, your choice of one-nine or three-nine financing on Taurus ends July 7th. The Great Percent Event at your quality Ford dealer is in its final days. That means time is running out for as much as 1,500 cash back for as low as one-nine financing on these great cars. It's the final days of the Great Percent Event, and it all ends July 7th. Hurry to your quality Ford dealer today. Volunteers are doing more than cleaning up this East St. Louis community. They're pitching in to help rebuild it from scratch. Volunteers weathered the heat today to build homes in East St. Louis. It's all part of the neighborhood-based family housing program. And as Illinois Bureau Chief Tom Atwood shows us, it will make owning a home possible for low-income families. You have to use the lift to get that one down. Bob Knotts isn't a carpenter, but today he's helping build two houses in East St. Louis. Houses put up by volunteers that will soon become homes for two families. At the age of 77, it's the kind of work Bob Nuts likes to do. I'm a coal, a coal miner by trade, but I've remodeled a lot of houses, and now I've been retired for 15 years. This gives me something to do that I like. East St. Louis resident Terry Moore is glad to do what he can to help rebuild this neighborhood. I don't mind helping out, you know. I have free time, so why not come help out? These houses are supposed to be built in two weeks, start to finish. But construction here is running a little behind, mainly because of the hot, humid weather. It's been real hard this last week with the humidity, and we've had to keep them with plenty of juices and, and see that uh, they get out of the heat every once in a while. The work here is hot and slow, but steady. Altogether, 200 volunteers will do whatever it takes to finish the houses. And by the end of the week, Bob Knotts knows he will have helped make a dream come true for two families. Well, here. that makes you feel good, yeah, when you're doing something for somebody else. In East St. Louis, Tom Atwood, News Channel 5. And as part of the volunteer program, 25 new homes will eventually be built in the Emerson Park and Olivet neighborhoods in East St. Louis. Fifteen teenagers are off on a dream summer vacation courtesy of TWA's Operation Liftoff program. Most of the teens have never met each other, but they all have one thing in common. They're beating the odds against cancer. The group is off to Florida to visit Bush Gardens Adventure Island and, of course, the Florida beaches. Operation Liftoff was begun by employees of TWA. The volunteer organization makes wishes come true by putting together dream trips for kids affected by life-threatening illnesses. And if it stays dry here for the rest of the evening, it could be a perfect night to catch a show. And what better place to see a show than outdoors at the Muni? We'll show you what's opening up tonight. It's going to be a little on the warm side, but there is relief on the way with cooler weather for midweek. The details are coming your way. The invasion has begun. And there's no stopping them. Over 5,000 brand new Chevy trucks have landed in Mid-America and are ready for immediate delivery. Get $1,000 cash back on rugged Chevy S10 pickups. Get $1,000 back on Chevy Blazers. Get the biggest savings on the best selection of full-size trucks in over three years. With financing as low as 6.9% and option savings up to 1250 bucks. The trucks you've been waiting for are at your Mid-America Chevy Geo dealer now. Come and get them. They've had to do a little remodeling at Pizza Hut headquarters since their co-founder came out of retirement to become a Papa John's franchisee. Uh -oh. See, he thinks Papa John's makes better pizza than even the company he helped found. Uh -oh. Today, Frank owns over 40 restaurants. Papa John's. Better what? ingredient, better pizza. He's got it. Papa John's. Hey, looks good here. Get a large pizza with up to three toppings for only $9.99 and a second pizza for $6. 
This week's volunteer vibe organization is the St. Louis County Parks and Recreation. There are about 67 parks in the St. Louis area, and volunteers are needed to keep them clean and help with various summertime programs. If you want to spend some time outdoors while making a difference, call 969-VOL5 before 7 o'clock. To earn more on your money, open a Southwest Bank Money Market account today, where you are guaranteed at least 6.02 annual percentage yield on your deposit of $2,500 or more. Your 6.02% yield can go up, but cannot go down, guaranteed through September 1st, 1997. To open your account, visit Southwest Bank or call 664-3600. So why earn less? Open your Southwest Bank Money Market account today. For a new look at St. Louis, imagine yourself in a Mercury. Imagine reaching new heights with Grand Marquis' powerful V8, a V8 La Sabre doesn't offer, or crossing the Mississippi in luxurious comfort. And if a safe trip's important, Grand Marquis just received the government's highest front crash test rating, five stars. Plus, right now with 1.9 financing, you can save over $5,900. No wonder it's number one in owner loyalty. Come on, St. Louis, imagine yourself in a Mercury now. See your St. Louis area Lincoln Mercury dealer. One of the biggest theater productions is ready to hit the stage of the Muni tonight. Funny Girl opens this evening at the theater. It's the love story of funny girl Fanny Bryce and her beau Nick Arnstein. It's one of the biggest productions at the Muni and is going to run through June 29th. Tickets are available at the Muni box office in Forest Park. I love Funny Girl. How's it going to be for the show tonight? It's going to be very warm, so yeah, maybe so. take along a tissue or a towel because it's going to be holding in the mid to upper 80s throughout the whole wow. Muni pre it's be present. Warm. Yes, it's going to be a warm one there. And at the ball game, heat indices this afternoon around 100 to 105. So stay in the shade, stay in the air conditioning, and drink plenty of fluid. The week ahead is shaping up like this. It'll be hot and humid until midweek. Then a front arrives on Wednesday. Thunderstorms develop along the front, and cooler, drier air is going to be moving in by late week. And I mean, highs will be in the mid 80s instead of in the mid 90s. Right now, it's 93 degrees in Chesterfield, Belleville 91 to the north, Alton 93. And in Springfield, Illinois, it is 92 degrees, not much better in Cape Girardeau. They have 90. Officially at Lambert Field, we have mostly sunny skies, and yes, we have the Cubs in town tonight. 91 degrees, our humidity 49%, a south breeze at 8 miles per hour, gusting to 22. The heat index, when you combine the temperature with the humidity, it feels like 97. So it is a sizzler in this early part of the young summer season. The high today, the hottest day of the summer season so far at 94. And the low this morning, a little bit above normal at 71. Low temperatures tonight, very similar to last night, and we will see generally fair skies. The only moisture out over western portions of Missouri. Some scattered showers and thunder showers over eastern Kansas headed towards southwest Missouri as that Gulf moisture streams into the mid-Mississippi River Valley. Once again, lows tonight around 74 here in St. Louis. Kansas City down to 73. But some good news off to the north and west, 40s and 50s. Some cooler weather will usher into the region but not until Thursday and Friday as the front slips through the area. The front right now shows up over the northern plains. It's plowing a path through there. Some extensive flooding earlier today around Austin, Texas from weekend rains and early morning rains. You can see some of that moisture surging into the central plains. By late this evening, high pressure will still be in control of our weather with generally fair skies and lots of sunshine again for tomorrow. But notice how that moisture channel starts to squeeze into our area. Look for partly sunny skies. It'll be another steamy one with high temperatures around 95 degrees. But again, cooler weather is over the northern plains, perched to pounce into the mid-Mississippi River Valley by late in the week. So here's our forecast for this evening. Generally fair skies, low down to 74. Winds out of the south at 5 miles per hour. Tomorrow, mostly sunny in the morning, partly sunny in the afternoon. The high, 95 degrees. South winds at 10 to 15. That sun index at a maximum almost at a level of a 9. The next several days, more heat for the next couple of days. However, you'll notice on Wednesday, scattered showers and thunder showers developing along that front. It cools back to a low of 69. Thursday, showers move out. Cooler, drier air moves in. Highs in the mid-80s, low temperatures in the upper 60s. And with the weekend rains, mm. there have been some river cresting values that we <laughs> want to share with you. The Merrimack River at Eureka will crest about two feet above flood state, and that is occurring right now. Thank you, John. Thank you. Well, they got underway today at Wimbledon, but day one looked a lot like last year. Mike Bush explains next in sports. And Mike is over at Bush Stadium tonight.
It's the Cardinals and the Cubs, Deanne, and perhaps another milestone for Dennis Eckersley. A live report coming up next. If you've thought of starting your own business, franchises have probably come to mind. It's a chance to own and operate a business under the umbrella of an already well-known company. But are franchises a good investment, and how do you pick a successful one? Tonight at 10 in News Channel 5's cover story, Money Reporter Bruce Barnhart looks at the increasing popularity of franchises and why it's smart to look before you leave. Cover story tonight at 10 only on News Channel 5, where the news comes first. Dodge Avenger has pretty much turned the notion that sport coupes are expensive and cramped upside down. So much so that when the numbers were tabulated for Strategic Vision's Total Quality Award for Best Ownership Experience, Avenger came up co-winner in its class. Avenger, further evidence that the new Dodge is on a roll. Now get 3.9% financing for 60 months or cash back. Want seafood fast for just $2.99? Get two D's, please. Three meals in a hurry. Get two D's, please. It's D's on the go. Get two D's, please. No fuss and no worries. Get two D's, please. Ready, set, go. Pick up D's on the go. Three great meals, just $2.99 each. They're ready in minutes. And at $2.99, they're priced to really move. Get two D's, please. One bite and you're hooked. Get two D's, please. Get two D's. Commercial. You know, not all conversion vans are created equal. Sure, they all offer the comforts of home. But Savannah by GMC goes one better. Look, upsy daisy. It has this exclusive full length box frame and uniquely tuned suspension for a superior ride. That's what makes it better. Leave it to GMC. See your GMC dealer today. Uh oh, broke a nail. 40 years after combining the luxury of the most exclusive cars with the performance of the most exotic. It hasn't missed a beat. Introducing the limited edition 40th anniversary Pontiac Bonneville. Now available with a special limited time lease offer that will really make your heart pound. 40th anniversary Bonneville. The latest expression of luxury with attitude. See your Missouri, Illinois Gateway Pontiac dealers. Well, the cards are playing a little bit better. The Cubs aren't. So what better time to welcome Chicago to town, there you right, go. Mike? Well, Rick and Deanne, you know, it's uh, Cards and Cubs, and it used to be that the fans and the players would get into this rivalry, but uh, not so much the players anymore. We were talking to Cubs manager Jim Riggleman, and he told me, he said, you know, we're just like the Cardinals. We need wins. We can't get involved in all this hoopla surrounding this rivalry. And so tonight it is the Cards and Cubs. Jeremy Gonzalez on the mound against Fernando Valenzuela. That's tonight's ticket. It's the first of three game time, 7.05. Now, yesterday, the Cards beat the Reds 5-2, and Dennis Eckersley picked up the save. For Eck, the 367th save of his career, tying him for second on the all-time list. That's important to me, but uh, I think it'll be a lot more important after I get out of the game and look back at it, because while we're in the middle of it, you don't think about that stuff because there's so much, uh, so much on the line, so much pressure that keeps your mind occupied enough. Well, Eckersley finished the game, but it was Alan Bennis who started the game and was sensational for eight innings. We bring in our Trey Wingo, and Trey, I don't think there's any question, even though he's just a second-year pitcher, He's been the best pitcher on this starting staff. Uh, without question, Mike. I mean, his record is only 7-6, and six, but there's no doubt that he has been the dominant hurler for the Cardinals on their staff, and really one of the best in the National League. And yesterday, Bennis finally broke that bad luck streak he was having. He went eight innings, giving up only four hits and striking out seven. But most importantly, he got the win, which didn't happen in Milwaukee when he took a shutout into the ninth, or in Atlanta when he came within one out of a no-hitter. But what may be most impressive about young Alan Bennis isn't his arm, rather his mind. You know going into each game that you want to throw as good as you can. And, and uh, you know, lately that's all I've been thinking about is going out and trying, you know, keep him down as much as I can and, and give us an opportunity to win the game. A couple of things that I noticed right away, he would get hit by a club, face him five days later, and would beat him. That takes special insides. The other thing is that whenever he had success, you know, he, he wasn't walking around crazy like, you know, I'm thrilled that I'm doing so well. He had, I mean, he, could, he had a real winner's mentality. 
Yeah, he certainly does, Mike, seem to have that winner's mentality. He's always so steady, and really, the Cardinals are having a little bit of a rocky start here, but if you think about it, with Alan Bennis and Matt Morris, maybe Braden Looper, and of course, Andy Bennis, the Cardinals are really set in pitching for many years to come. And it's a nice, healthy competition between Andy and Alan. They root for each other, but they also sort of compete for who gets the better start. Oh, they enjoy it very much. Last year was sort of a rookie veteran thing, but this year, Andy said, I, I can't give him any grief because he can give it right back, and, and they really enjoy that part of the rivalry. All right, Trey, thanks very much. Now, uh, I mentioned that Fernando Valenzuela will be on the mound tonight. Fernando, of course, will go back to the bullpen when Donovan Osborne is healthy, but we're told Osborne is still several weeks away, so Fernando making the start again tonight. A couple of things you may have missed from this past weekend. You know, the San Diego Padres have not played very well this year, but you can't say the same about their star, Tony Gwynn. Let's go back to yesterday. Against the Rockies, bases loaded in the eighth inning, and like always, Gwynn delivers. This, a three-run double as the Padres beat the Rockies 4-2. to two. Gwynn now hitting 393. Pirates second baseman Tony Womack probably didn't know that Butch Husky of the Mets was recruited to play linebacker at Oklahoma, but he does now. Husky broke up a double play, and Womack nearly broke something else. Amazingly, he stayed in the game. One other item you might have missed, double-A baseball, and Torrey Hunter of the double-A Trenton Thunder will make, some, make the catch and do some redecorating going through the wall. Hunter, though, did not give an inch, and for that, you gotta love it. Well, much like last year, the Wimbledon Tennis Tournament is underway, and much like last year, there is rain. Several matches suspended or postponed today. French Open champion Eva Mioli was one of those who was able to play a complete match in the far court against Mariana diaz Oliva. Mioli gets the backhand winner. She lost the first set, but rallied to win. The scores were 2-6, six, 6-love, six, 6-3. Love, six, Other winners included defending men's champion Richard Krychek and Lindsey Davenport. And again, here it's the Cards and the Cubs. Game time, 7.05, and we've got the highlights coming up tonight at 10. Rick and Dee, back to you. Thank you, Mike. And be sure to join us again tonight at 10 to find out how an east side city is dealing with illegal massage parlors. Collinsville police have busted several businesses where the ladies were selling more than massages. Tonight, city leaders take up a plan to shut them down. Plus, new medical proof that some people cannot control their weight no matter how much they diet. See how a genetic link could lead to help for the severely obese. And that will do it for News Channel 5 at 6. Have a good night. We'll see you back here again at 10. Thank you for watching News Channel 5, where more St. Louisans get their news than from any other source.